What's up guys, Arman Shahinian here, the taster. This is my, one of my favorite pastries. I haven't had this for, I don't know, forever, probably. And the only per, not the only person, the person who was master of making this was my father's sister-in-law, my uncle's wife. Now let's see how Marina It's pretty good. It's so light. I like enough the cream. I yeah. don't make it heavy. I don't like when when like a lot of creams come in your mouth. It's just so so disgusting and heavy. So this I one is so light. It's not too sweet. It's not. It's uh, everything is on a perfect spot. So I used Bavarian cream. I showed everybody how mm. to make creme anglaise and then how to make Bavarian cream. I think it's the only pastry I can eat like, all of it. It's good. No, seriously, it tastes really good. Wow. Pretty good for uh, my first time making it, huh? Well, it's your first time making this? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, if you make this two, two more times, two, three times, Perfect. this is gonna be like crazy. <laughs> and I'm putting some melted butter right on top. I decided to do this because I wanted a firmer foundation compared to the filo dough which I'm layering on top of the rest. And I'm going to layer the filo dough with butter. Now remember there is no perfect way to do this. Take the idea that your thing has to look exactly perfect out and just have fun with it. Do whatever pattern or whatever folding mechanism you want just make sure you put butter between every layer. Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and make our Bavarian cream. How do we make Bavarian cream? Well, we have the creme anglaise pastry cream from last night sitting on the right and now I'm putting a cup of cold heavy cream and I'm whipping it up into a nice fluffy whipped cream and we're going to gently fold that together and voila that is going to make your Bavarian cream. 